my channel. My name is Sarajini Alea. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm sure you're here because y'all want to see how to get your hair just like mine. I'm super excited. I did this hairstyle again. I've done it in the past, but this time I found a super easy way to do it that I want to share with you guys. But before I go into all of that of how I did the hair, I just want to let you guys know where I got the hair from. I got the hair from Yiru or Yiru, um, Your Hair, Your Crown is the name of the company. You can find them on Amazon.com at Amazon.com slash Yiru as you can see on the box. They sent me this hair. Thank you to them for sending me the hair um, so I could do this review. Um, I love the Passion Twist hair. Like, I mean, everybody's been on to it. It just has a cute little bohemian vibe. So they sent me the hair six packs um, and 18 inches. You guys, this is 18 inches. I can't even pretty much show you guys where it lays on me, but it's pretty long and it's in the color T30, um, 1B T30, but I'll go ahead and insert a clip of how it looked like when I first unboxed it and let you guys see that and I'll come back to you guys. So I don't know if y'all can tell in this light, but it's just like a subtle like ombre from the ends from 30 up to like the darker color. So I thought that would be cute. So I got six packs of that. So that was in this box and in the box it also comes, I thought was cute came with this little is it braided oh that's really cute I didn't even realize y'all this braided headband and then also in the box they just give you a wig cap so that's always good you know you can never have too many wig caps so I love my wigs as well so so that's what came in the box y'all so this is all the hair um I actually have my mom twisting the hair before I show you guys what it looks in my head I mean at this point you probably already saw it in a clip but this is what I did as far as Twisting the hair, I've done it before I wear, I've done the rubber band method, but this time I wanted to try a crochet with cornrows straight back. So we have this little crochet tool. I have leave the link in the description below if you guys want to get one as well. So each hair comes in little strands like this. And then what you gotta do is just separate the hair, fluff through it, and then go ahead and twist it down. She'll be working on that for the next day, and then I'll come back and go ahead and just crochet it in my hair. Okay guys, now that you saw that, that's what it looked like. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what the braiding pattern looked like and then we can get into how I actually did my hair and all that. And I will come back and tell you what I think about it overall. Okay guys, so for the braiding pattern, you're just going to want to braid your hair in about 10 braids going straight back and then just part off the front of your hair in a generally straight line. So that was the braiding pattern you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys how I actually put the crochet hair into my braids. And then after that, I'll go ahead and just cut to where I'm showing y'all how to do the rubber band part so that it can look like you have a whole head of box braids or spring twist that you individually twisted into your head when it's just all an illusion, you guys. We gotta make it look like we spent a lot of time and money on it when it only cost us $32 and like two hours and boom, this is what you got. So I'll let y'all see that and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on the hair and all of that. About 40 minutes and this is how much I've gotten done so far. I've been taking like my sweet time, like I always take my sweet time, but this is still so much faster than doing individuals. But I just wanted to show y'all how I crochet the hair into the braids and then I'll show y'all how I do the method in the front when I get there. But all I do is I just take my crochet needle with the hook closed. So I just have my, my twist on my fingers getting it ready. And what I'm gonna do is I take two fingers and I space each twist two fingers apart so my hair is not too bulky. And I hope you guys can see this but I just stick the hook under my braid making sure the hook is flat and not like upwards because it'll like scrape against your head. So yeah, you just slide it under like that and then you open the hook up. I really hope I'm getting this. And you stick the hair onto the loop or on the hook. Close the latch, make sure it's flat against your head and you pull through. And so now I open up the latch again, take the hair, put it on the end close it and pull it through the hole. And you can do that part with your fingers, but I do it with the hook so it's not as messy. You'll see it's still good. So I just do that over my whole head. And uh, yeah, this hair's coming along really cute, y'all. I will be back once I get to the front of my head. Okay, y'all, now it's time for the magic and the illusion. So as you can see, I've parted off my hair into boxes in the front section of my hair that we sectioned off earlier. And you're gonna make sure that the parts are staggered from your cornrows in the back. 
So right now I'm just using some olive oil moisturizer to go ahead and just moisturize my hair. This is a protective style so you want to make sure you're not letting it go to waste and make sure your hair is nice and moisturized. Now take your choice of edge control. I use the even super hold. And you're going to smooth the edges of your, your sectioned out part so that it's nice and neat. From there, take a rubber band. I like to soak mine in oil. And just go ahead and secure that section. Your crochet needle is going to go under the rubber band instead of under your braid like before. Next, you're going to loop the hair onto the hook as we did earlier, this time under the rubber band. And next you're gonna pull half of the hair under to where you have two pieces on both sides, like so. I'm struggling, y'all. Then take your edge control again and split your hair into two pieces that you're gonna smooth down really good. Um, I also like to use some Eco Styling Gel as well along with my edge control. And from here, you're going to just twist your hair down along with the passion twist hair. Another thing I noticed was uh, after twisting down a little bit, you see how the hair is unraveling? That means I twisted the wrong way. So just go ahead and twist the other way and you should be good. you guys so that was the hair um i hope you found that technique to be super easy because no one has time to be spending all this time and effort and money and pain into being cute y'all like we're trying to be cute on a budget with no effort y'all so yeah this is what it is the hair is very long i'm five eight and a half i'm pretty much five and nine y'all and the hair falls pretty long on me i wish y'all could see i mean this angle's not really doing it justice but yeah it is it's long and it stretches so that's what it's looking like y'all i really like the hair i give it a 10 out of 10 and hopefully this lasts me for let's say um maybe three weeks because because of the method i did where the front part i can easily take out and redo without having to worry about my cornrows that are going straight back i'll be able to refresh it when i need to and just twist the hair down once the ends start to get old you could just snip the ends as needed and yeah it's a really lightweight easy hairstyle i went to sleep in it last night and it felt into my body super easy no pain it just squishes right to your head when you're trying to go to sleep so that's what i really like about it. it's lightweight really um easy to manage so yeah i love this hair and hopefully it lasts me a while and then i will be on to the next crochet style so y'all let me know which style y'all want to see me do next Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so y'all can stay tuned to all the other easy hairstyles I'm trying to put out into the world. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.